Okay, hello football fans. This is a different video from what I usually do. But right in front of me here is something that is called a match-worn shirt. In this video, I'm going to reveal who the shirt is, who it belongs to, what game it was worn in. I'm going to show you some clips. Can you guess from the clues I'm going to, about to give who the player is? Let me know. But this is from matchwornshirts.com. They've got an app. This is not a paid advertisement. They've not paid me any money for this video. This is just something that I thought would be very cool to do. So let's get straight into the unboxing. This is the outer box. It's a quite good sturdy box. It's pre-opened, but we're gonna get into it in a minute. Okay, so now we get another presentation box, which is really nicely done. It says match worn shirt there on the top. It's a good quality sturdy box. Zippers all the way around. But now let's get into the clues of this player. He had a little bit of a spell at Barcelona and he's a Premier League footballer. This was worn in a match against West Ham. And in that match, there was a penalty shout. I'm going to show you little clips of that. And you can actually see the dirt from when he falls on the uh, <laughs> on the pitch. It's really cool. But anyway, why would you buy a match-worn shirt? I just thought it'd be a cool idea to do. And it's actually, people actually buy these sort of things. But anyway, let's, any more clues that I can give you? Let me think. He wears oil on his arms. Come on, you've got to guess that. He's a Fulham player. Anyway, let's go. Let's open the box. We've got congratulations, certificate. See that? Fabric of the game. Beautiful quality certificate there. We've got some sort of card thing. You open that out and it's got a card inside. We'll get into that shortly. But this is the actual shirt in question. Are you ready for this? Let's have a look. Let me put that to that side. Right, here we go. Right, so it's a Fulham shirt, of course. He plays for Fulham. There's already some dirt there from the pitch, from the playing. Some on the button. But check that out, guys. Look at this. You get a lovely presentation with the tissue box there. It's really good quality, you know. And let's have a look at the shirt itself. Okay, so Fulham shirt, unwashed. It comes as it is. Fulham have an aero ready shirt. They don't have um, heat ready material. It's just this one shirt. They don't have an additional player's version or anything. But this is a match-worn shirt. You can see the dirt there I was talking to you about. I was telling you about, rather. I'm gonna show you a clip exactly how this came about as well. And you'll see from the video, but let's have a look at the shirt itself. It's a stitched and embroidered Adidas logo. Stitched and embroidered Fulham badge. You've got the sponsor there. You've got the Premier League sleeve. No room for racism. The three stripes are stitched on the Fulham shirt and it's a lovely colour. Some more dirt there from battling on the pitch. And you've got the Fulham sleeve sponsor there. Right, uh, what else can I show you? There's a special tag. That's the fabrication. Uh, hang on, what's it called? The fabrics authentication rather. See? You match that card with this tag. So there's no fake in it. You know this is definitely a match-worn shirt, which is really cool. So let me just flip it over, show you the back. And there's the back. Some more dirt from the pitch there. It's either really weird or like really, really cool, don't you think? <laughs> I think it's... Uh, there's a, some white marks from the pitch line there. There's Adama Traore's signature. That's all authenticated. 
And of course the Adama on the back, the little Fulham badge on the back at the top, Craven Cottage, London, beautiful badge. That's like a rubberized heat applied. But how cool is that guys? He wore that in the pit, on the pitch, in the game, probably for the first half, maybe swapped his shirt at the second half. I'm not quite sure, but there we have it. Is that cool or am I crazy? Now, how much did I pay for this shirt? <laughs> That's another question. You have to bid on the website or the app. They have an app as well. And you have to uh, get the winning bid, of course. I got the winning bid on this shirt and I paid just under £250. Which, I don't know if it's a good deal, if it's a bad deal. I just thought... It's a cool video idea and it runs through the process of if you've ever thought about buying from match worn shirts fabric of the game look at that but how cool is that guys anyway let's get into this this bit here obviously i'm not going to wash this shirt because it just adds to the um the provenance of it so to speak do you know what i mean but I'm going to show you a clip now on how that came about. Now watch how cool this is. Stooping header by Mavropanos, but now the pitch open for Adama Traore to burst forward. Adama Traore oh. goes down in the penalty area. And he goes down in the penalty area. You can see all the marks from it there. Which might be really, really weird to you, but I, I think it's pretty cool. But that's what you don't re actually know what provenance you're going to get from a match worn shirt. But I think that's a cool moment that is signified right there. But how cool is that? Am I crazy or is it a cool thing? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I'm just curious on what you think. But look at that. There we go. What else can I talk about? What else can I show you? I think that's everything. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Now, you've probably just seen that then on the video, but what size would you think Traore is? Because he's a big guy. He's, he's muscular and he's rapid, he's fast. But what size shirt would he wear? He actually wears a medium. I would never have thought that. But then if you think about it, he's, he's quite fast and everyone grabs him, he oils his arms, he curls his shirt up which you can't really see any evidence of it there because he curls the shirts up on his sleeves don't he look but there's no real evidence of it on the shirt but another thing what you might ask any 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 questions you might ask about a match one shirt just ask below and i'll uh, get back to you but the question i was always wondering if they actually washed it which clearly they don't and the real question is, does it actually, <laughs> this is really weird, but does it actually stink of sweat? Well, I'm going to actually, I'm going to have to be honest and say it really, really does. <laughs> so, it's up to you if um, that's your kind of thing or not. Maybe you'll want to wash it off, spray some Febreze on it, but I'm just going to leave it just like that. Yes, it does stink of sweat. I don't smell any oil or anything like that on the sleeves. But how cool is that? A Premier League match worn shirt. I've shown you the clip evidence before. All there. It's got authentication. Let me just show you those again real quick. See that? That's really nicely done. It's nice embossed, good quality. That pulls out and it reveals like a credit card type thing inside. I don't want to show the numbers in just in case it's something I'm not supposed to show. But in fact, on, after a second thought, I've looked at this uh, card. It's not got numbers on. It just folds, fold, pulls out. See that? That's just a little sleeve thing. And that just says the future of authentication fabrics. You open it out to reveal that there. The future of authentication. And it's 
authentication instructions there. On the back of that, I'm assuming it tells you what to do. I think it tells you to go to a website or you can scan something on your phone, maybe something like that. After I look at it or look into it more, I'll uh, post some details in the description below. That's it. Adama Traore's match worn shirt, Fulham shirt, signature there, Premier League numbers on the back. How about that? And that's it. Watch all the videos that are popping up right about now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It helps this channel grow. And hopefully I can do more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.